Live this morning from Dallas, Texas, where you can see from this dark live feed more than 3 million people there still without power statewide. Pretty incredible. Now, this deadly winter storm is turning into a dire situation for so many Texans because unlike here in Minnesota, their homes, they're not built for this type of weather. Just check out this photo of an apartment building in uptown Dallas. Icicles forming on ceiling fans. Yeah, yikes. And they don't have the same infrastructure when it comes to handling snow covered roads either. To put it into perspective, MnDOT, we have about 800 plows here statewide in Minnesota, among other tools to help us de-ice our roads. The Texas Department of Transportation has 30 plows. Now day two of no electricity also means no heat. So check out this photo from Cypress, Texas, a ceiling completely caving in due to pipes bursting there. We know here that you can actually trickle your faucet so pipes don't completely freeze. But get this, the city of Houston is asking residents with water to actually conserve it, allowing them to save it for firefighting and other life-saving operations. Do you have enough water to get through today? Uh, I mean, we have drinking water, but I mean, as far as like using the toilet, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, they'll figure it out. He's got some little kiddos at home as well. Now, the city of Baytown, where this man was from, says it has no timetable for when the water supply will be restored. There's also a boil water notice for when it is restored. And check out this long lines of cars in Houston of people without power just waiting to get a hot meal at this Popeye's restaurant. You can see it's the only one really lit up in the area. Now, some Texans are calling this criminal and that state leaders should be held accountable. And believe it or not, Chris, something similar happened 10 years ago where severe winter weather caused rolling blackouts, sparking a Senate hearing and a lot of outrage from folks. But but a little has actually been done uh, to winterize their generators there. So they didn't learn from that first lesson. Yeah, they didn't want to put the funds towards something that only happens, you know, once a decade or less. Right. All right, thanks for sharing that, Alicia.